Good morning. It's Sunday Morning Live with John M. And here is our host, John M. Good morning and welcome back yet one more time to Sunday Morning Live with John M. Um, we, after, after several weeks of um, just having shows with me solo all by myself alone with nobody else, um, we are finally back with the beginning of a string of some really cool guests. And I have with me this morning um, Kevin Fisher. Hi, Kevin. Hey, I'm, I'm, good afternoon. I'm so excited to have you here. I, I have known of you for a long time, and, and I've seen you play a few times. Um, but somehow we've never old? really crossed paths officially until, you know, now. So, until now. So welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm looking forward to, to hearing some of your music and Great. talking to you about a bunch of stuff. Cool. Um, but first... If I've ever referenced this before or not, but Hillary, my uh, my better half, who who helps with uh, all of this Sunday morning live stuff and most of the other stuff in my life too, has um, admonished me several times that you know, John, as much as I love your songs, uh, uh, you've got so many serious, depressing songs, so many downers. Uh, you should do some stuff that's a little more up. So. I'm going to start with one. I was debating this morning, starting with a different song, which is a downer, serious, heartbroken, tortured, angst-ridden. And I decided to do this one instead, which is, it has passing references to uh, angst-ridden moments, but the song overall is, is more hopeful and more optimistic. Um, it's an older song of mine which has not yet been recorded, but it will be soon. And go like this hill. Your heart is sleeping, said the doctor. It's still very much alive. It must have taken quite a beating. It had to shut down to survive. It may be dormant for an hour. Or for a month, or even years It will awaken when it overcomes its fears But you can be my heart doctor Come on over here Put your little stethoscope on me And tell me what you hear Shine your little pen light in my eyes Tell me what you see Oh, you can be my heart doctor, baby If you want to be You can be my heart doctor Doctor said there's nothing I can give you No pill that you can take your heart knows it's reached its limit, it can't stand. But if you give it time, I think this heart of yours is going to be just fine. You can be my heart, doctor. Come on over here. Put your little stethoscope on me. Baby, tell me what you hear Shine your little pen light in my eyes Tell me what you see You can be my heart doctor, baby If you want to be You can be my heart doctor But you don't have to take the job this is not your cross to bear It's a lot to ask of anyone And I know it isn't fair But there's a lot of love inside me Somewhere Now there's a risk in loving anyone just the way it is Even Jesus trusted someone Who betrayed him with 
with a kiss You can make sure nobody hurts you If you make sure you never fall But then you might as well not be alive at all You can be my heart doctor Come on over here Stethoscope on me Now tell me what you hear Shine your little pen of light in my eyes Tell me what you see You can be my heart baby If you want to be You can be my heart doctor If you want to be That was Heart Doctor. So, uh, good morning, Kevin. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> thanks for thanks for dragging yourself out here early on a Sunday morning. My pleasure. Um, Can I say that that third verse was so good? And oh my usually God. verses get weaker each one that transpires. That third verse just knocked it out of the park. Wow. Yeah, that was really well. Really good. Well, thank you so much. Coming from you, that means a lot to me. So it would mean a lot. For you, me. Respect you respect bus drivers. So, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so um, well, man, where to start? You, uh, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been a a quote unquote professional singer songwriter? Well, let's see. I graduated college in nineteen hundred and and then waited tables <laughs> for ten years and got my first publishing deal in like ninety. Three, something like that, uh -huh. and so did publishing deal. Got a, got a deal, lost a deal. But you know, gave guitar lessons, got a deal, lost so, a deal. So, so your first deal? Did did you just? And by the way, I'm just gonna because we're our our microphone crapped out on us this morning. I need you to kind of speak up a little sure. bit. Sure. Yes, of course. course. I shall articulate. Um, um, the uh, your first deal? Uh, did you just like send? some songs into somebody and they went wow this is great I traveled I had a band in the 90s called Naked to the World and actually we're having a reunion of our reunion show at Russ and Julie's in January wow uh, awesome. but anyway so that was in the 90s and we toured all around and uh, we were in Nashville I met a guy who was working at the time for a songwriters advocacy group and he later got a job working for Hay Street Music, which is Don Schlitz's company. Well, I don't even think they exist anymore. Uh, and he said, well, shoot, let's sign you. And I said, well, <laughs> shoot, okay. Yeah. And uh, wow. had my first cut in Nashville in like late 90s. Cherie Austin yeah. was the woman, who the artist, and my song Tenderly was the first song I ever got cut. Cool. And, and so... From then, you know, the fast forwarding, where we're, uh, you have four albums out now of your own, uh, something like that. I have Naked the World has three, four or five. I've got two or three solo records. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of side including cars. your most recent one, which is. Um, Angels and, Angels and Einstein. Angels and Einstein, yes. Yeah. And and I was looking at the song list on this, and I'm glad to see there's there's several on here that that uh, I was listening to online, and and I mean you just you write such great stuff. Let's but, see the you. let's see the album. Thank you. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> almost forgot about you. <laughs> yeah, that's Kevin's record. Angels and Einstein. What my a great favorite title. color. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Um, let's hear some music. Yeah, go, go ahead and, and All right. hit us with a song. Okay, sure. Are, are, is this something from your new record? Yes, it is. Awesome. And uh, let's see, since it's relatively early, I have my lyrics here in case I need them. I don't have a lot of faith in where we are in this human race. I'm not sure we're heading for a braver world, a better place. I'm afraid that we might hang ourselves, Lord knows we've got the rope, but against my better judgment I still hope, I hope my kids will see one day a world where all kids
kids laugh and play And no one has to be afraid anymore That soldiers all put down their weapons And we're happy for each other's blessings Chances are slim, I know But I still hope Hope all hungry hearts are fed That sleepy eyes all find a bed I know I'm only saying things That everyone's already said But I'll say it till I lose my voice If saying something makes it so And justifies the reason I still hope I hope my kids will see one day A world where all kids laugh and play no one has to be afraid anymore And soldiers all put down the weapons And we're happy for each other's blessings Chances are slim, I know But I still hope Call me a dreamer But I'm not the only one Who hopes their kids will see one day A world where all kids laugh and play And no one has to be afraid anymore And soldiers all put down the weapons And finally we all learn our lesson Chances are some, I know But I still hope Chances are slim, I know still hope. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. A new Beautiful. favorite of mine. Oh, thank you. That, it, it, that's a relatively new song? Relatively new, yeah. It's, yeah. you know, I, I notice you do, you, you make better than average use of the near rhyme. You, you know, uh, rhyming weapons with lessons uh, you know as opposed to deceptions yeah. or, or something you know well better than um, average has always been a goal of mine yeah well <laughs> well you you've reached it uh well over you know over, I, but, uh, I think i love perfect rhyme but if an imperfect rhyme is what i mean to say then I'll use yeah it. yeah well one of my one of my pet peeves in songwriting is um you know, rhymes work best, whether it's a near rhyme or a perfect rhyme or whatever. It, it They work best when it does say exactly what you, mm -hmm. you know, it's, this says exactly what I want to say, and coincidentally, it happens to rhyme. Right. You know, right. that's that's when it's best. And one of my pet peeves uh, among a lot of songwriters is a throwaway rhyme, mm -hmm. you know, where they just, they throw in something because it rhymes. Right, yeah. Hey, it's and, done, it rhymes. And, yeah, and, and I've I've heard... It'll ruin some songs for me. I've, I've heard so, some songs where, you know, the first and second verses are great. The chorus is great. It's got a great hook, and I'm really getting into it, and I'm getting picked up in it. And then, you know, uh, but then you left my house. And I'm like, really? Right. Is that the right. best you could right. come up with after all of this? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, know? you could have tried for eight more minutes. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Speaking of songwriters, we have a couple really great songwriters watching this show. Tom Ooh. Kell and hey, Tom. David, hey, Tom. David Plenn. And um, Tom s said that was a great song. Thank you. Thank you. And you'll, of course, get to read all the comments later, which is fun. Oh, shoot. Will I want to? Yes. Oh, okay. you will. Tons uh, of thumbs up and you. hearts and okay. all sorts of stuff. You'll cool. enjoy it. Cool. So, so you're, in addition to um, performing and, and getting signed, you've had, besides having other artists, do your songs you've had a couple and some TV shows mm -hmm. and some movies and stuff yeah. which is wonderful too um, and I know for a while well I shouldn't say I know I'm pretty sure that for a while you were touring uh, didn't you do the college market for a while with, uh, with Naked to the World yes yeah okay um, are you still touring at all or are you pretty I much I played guitar for and opened for Cindy Alexander a, a few weeks ago oh okay and we were on the we were on the east coast um, West Virginia Connecticut Philadelphia, and that was super, super fun. Yeah. It's it's really fun. I just, 
you know, I got a seven year old and eleven year old, and I like being home. Yeah. So it's really hard to. The, the notion of playing a college tour for six weeks uh -huh. in my 20s and 30s was just the best thing you could possibly think of. Right. And now it's like, dear Lord, get me home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Um, well, uh, gee, there's, you know, there's so much. Um, while I'm thinking of where to go next with the conversation, yes. why don't you throw another one at us? Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. I've been into kind of s more storytelling type stuff. So I'm going to play something that is more storytelling kind of thing. I guess they're all stories, really. So let's see if this is a... So when I, when I play this out live, I'm actually playing it live now. Um, uh, when I play it, I will you know, say, okay, guess what the song is about before the fourth line, at which point I will tell you what the song is about. <laughs> I'm going to be counting lines. Yes. <laughs> it starts with a grimace, ends with a grin. I watch as the needle pierces my skin. Youthful defiance in black and blue. My beautiful tattoo. A sign of rebellion under my sleeve Makes good people happy whenever I leave It moves with my muscles as time passes through My beautiful tattoo And it's there when I fall in love Yeah, it's there when my kids grow up Though it fades a couple shades every year Well, I can't hardly see it on the day I retire Though it burns in my memory like a gasoline fire A lifelong companion, Lord knows there are few Like my beautiful tattoo and it's there when my breath runs out Yeah, it's there when they lay me down But when I rise, Lord, it shines like the sun Like the sun And when I see St. Peter, he says, hey man, that's cool I wonder if I can get one just like you I say no, not unless You can walk in my shoes Like I had to For my beautiful tattoo My beautiful tattoo Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Thank you. So now, of course, I have to ask. Yes. Do you actually I have it? Do not. My <laughs> wife would kill me. But it's funny. I uh, we moved to San Pedro uh, in 2004, and a lot of our friends and our kids' friends' parents have tattoos, and like I don't even think about it anymore. I mean, like when I was a kid, it was like the tattoo. You were I don't know. You were Popeye. You were a sailor. You were whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I just, it's, it's a beautiful art. Yeah. And if, if you want one, get one. Don't tell my <laughs> wife I said that because if my kids hear that, they can. You, you remind me of, of um, James Lipton from the, uh, the Inside the Actors Studio. He, he referenced numerous times, he would have actors on who had uh, tattoos. And, and he would periodically, he would, he would, look at his wife in the audience and say, please, honey, can I just yeah. get a small one yeah. like that? <laughs> well, you know, I, I've thought about it, and there's a, you know, kind of a sign of rebellion to yeah. it. Um, but the older I get, I think the less of a good idea it is. I mean, mm -hmm. it's something I think you want when you're young. Yeah, young and rebellious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Old and rebellious. Yeah. It just sounds like you're in the way. So, 
Um, I, I figured out where I want to go with Oh, yes. This. Okay. Um, I, I have, of course, heard you play live a couple times doing similar stuff mm. to this, what we're doing this morning. Um, but I also uh, listened to like some of your videos and different recordings and stuff online. And some of them are fairly heavily produced. Yes. And big, you know, electric kind of wall of sound mm -hmm. kind of stuff, which is great. So that takes me to two places. The first is, uh, do you write everything just sitting with a guitar, or do you something like, do you have a home studio where you layer in tracks? And I have a home studio, and I layer in track, but the writing, mostly the writing process is on the guitar. Uh, I had a feeling. Once in a while, some once in a while there's that sort of task-oriented song where it's like, okay, I want to write a song for try to get into a TV show. It needs to be X, needs to be Y, it needs to be Z. So, like the other day I was writing with a couple friends and um, we had the basic idea of the song. And so, I, and my other two co-writing partners, and I love lyrics, but they had it down. They were like, they were on it. So I'm like, shoot, well, I'm just gonna start working on the track. So we're, you know, I've got the track going and by the end of the day, we had half the track done and we put the vocal down and everybody left, and I finished out the track, and it sounds great to, to my, in my yeah. in my opinion, it might be shit. I don't know, yeah. but, yeah. but yeah. in my opinion, I love it. Yeah. Uh, well, you have to like it. You know, yeah. If you don't like it, no one else will. But the, yeah. uh, um, well, that le and that that's kind of what I thought you would say. I, I, Steve Earle, who, another another favorite love of him, mine. Yeah. Um, uh, said a couple times in, in interviews that he said I he said all my songs they always start on just solo guitar and he said not only do I write them that way but he said I'll always as part of the the birthing process or the trying out process that I'll always take them out and play them solo acoustic mm -hmm. and he said if they work that way then I know that when I add the drums and the electrics and this and that that it'll be that much stronger but but the song has to stand on its own. I, I yeah. agree with caveats, and the caveats are that that that's sort of like a classical songwriting yeah. thought. Um, if you're writing an EDM track, I do not want to hear it on a good <laughs> yeah. you know, yes. just Yeah, it doesn't apply to all genres. Right, um, yeah, and tra you know, the, when I, I recently upgraded my studio of necessity because it crashed, um, and I, I got all, all, you know, a lot of the coolest sounds, and... It's so important. I mean, if you want to, if you want songs to sound like anything reasonably that's on the radio, you better have the right sounding stuff. And yeah. you know, it's having it hold up on acoustic guitar. That's important to me, just because of the crafts, craftsmanship, right. craftspersonship. Right. Um, but man, if if your if your kick kick drum sound is yeah. rotten, it's you know, if yeah. it's wrong, it's wrong. Right. Well. Um, Related question. I once again, when I was listening to uh, to some of your stuff online, I, and I don't know, you're clearly you're focusing on stuff today from your new album, and so you can play whatever you want. I'm I'm not. I don't want to put any pressure on you to play this song, but um, but one of the songs I listened to was another love song, um, which I believe did Uncle Cracker uh, yes. recorded that. Yes. Yeah. And, and the recording I heard, again, on, online was very full and, and very kind of rocked up. But the lyrics are amazing in, oh, in that song. And I'm curious um, to know if you, if you ever play that song just acoustic. I um, do. We, I wrote it with uh, Mark McGuinn in Nashville um, uh, 10 years ago, something like that, and uh, just acoustic guitar. And we were just sitting around laughing our butts off because it was funny. Um, the, the Uncle Crocker changed the kind of wacky bridge, made it a little bit more of a straight bridge. Uh -huh. uh, changed some of the lyrics. Um, that's a whole other business side. That is well, as I said, I will I will leave it up to you. Uh, I, I can give you a couple more songs, so so there's time if you if you feel like playing it. Uh, I think it'd be interesting to hear the contrast. If not, I that's fine I, too. Let's see. Do I even? I don't even know if I remember it. I don't. I haven't, I haven't played it in probably a few years. Uh, uh, I have a habit of doing this to people. Straight from my heart, right into yours. Bleeding 
so I wrote you a song you're gonna love to hate, hate to love, either way, baby, you'll turn it up. Straight from my heart, right into yours, complete with cliche and metaphor you heard before. Now, if you think it's trite, you're right, it might be, but honey, um, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, something like that. That's okay. Uh, uh, does the world, world really need another love song? Another you to know how much I miss you when you're gone. Another clever forever, I'll be true to you. I think we do, here it is, sing along. I, 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 I love you. I, 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 I do. I, 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 I love you. I, 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 and it's true. Tell me what's wrong. Tell me what's wrong. With another love song From the radio way straight to the elevator It's the on-hole music when you call the operator Instead of whistling Dixie You whistling it, it's the itty bitty ditty that you can't forget If you think it's trite, you're right, it might be But honey, good love songs are like ice cream You can never fill up, never get enough of a good thing but Does the world really need another love song? Another you to know how much I miss you when you're gone Another clever forever, I've been true to you Well, I think we do, here it is, sing along I, 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 I love you, I, 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 I do I, 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 I love you, I, 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 and it's true Tell me what's wrong, tell me what's wrong With another love song Um, now every love, now every love song needs a beauty now every every love song needs a beautiful bridge well here it is the london the brooklyn the golden gate isn't that bridge great does the world really need another love song another you to know how much i miss you when you're gone another clever forever i'll be true to you we absolutely Thank you, thank you. One, one, of our, one of our listeners said she went to see Uncle Cracker just live just because of that song. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> no, it's Karen in, um, in, in Nashville. You oh. can respond to her. Oh, hey, you... Karen. Thank you. Thank you for that. Hey, Karen. Um, he, didn't do, he, did, he didn't do the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> he changed the chorus. Um, but that's, that's the business side of music, that you don't always get what you want. Yeah. You know. yeah. But, I, you know, I... I yeah. Some dude who's famous recorded one of my songs, so there you go. Right. I'll take it. Right. And when I was, you know, when I was young and idealistic and stupid, yeah. um, I went through that, you know, I was so overprotective of my songs when I was yeah. starting out that, you know, well, I don't want it recorded that way, and I don't want this or that artist to do it, and it's got to, you know, yeah. and, and I'm way past that now. Anybody <laughs> can do anything they want. Right. Anytime, ever. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> rewrite it. Just as long as there's enough of what I originally did in it for it to you know to be recognizable. Yeah. I'm well, okay. that that has definitely changed um, in songwriting. You know, people will take a completely written song and say, "Great, let me change this, and I'll do it, and I'll put my name on it." It's like, you know, 15 years ago, like, fuck away. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's like, well, all right, that you know, sure. I had a, I have a song that that um, that, that a lot of the viewers are familiar with. That, that's called "My Mother and Me." Mm -hmm. I've played it here a few times, and and uh, it was it's one of my more popular songs. It's often requested uh, by audiences and only at live shows. And I used to play it all the time in Nashville. I lived in Nashville, and one night I played it in this in this bar. You know this kind of music bar they mm -hmm. have so many of in Nashville and and this drunk guy came up to me at the end of my set and he said man what a beautiful amazing song my mother and me what that, that's just it touched me and it blah 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 and he said but just I, I have just one thought for you one idea it imagine if it was you're ready for this now my savior in me 
Wow. <laughs> That's a different twist. And yes. And, and I said, I tell you what, you go home and write My Savior and Me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my song is My Mother and yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah. How about but, <laughs> that except everything different? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So, Everybody's a critic. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you also, in addition to performing and recording, um, and getting songs played by other people. Uh, you also teach songwriting. I can think of no better person to do that. Well, thank uh, you. Thank um, you. And uh, if if one and if I if I remember correctly, you you teach classes and workshops in various mm -hmm. places, and you also do one on one uh, songwriting, coaching, instructing, helping, yeah. whatever. Um, if if one of our viewers said, I want to learn how to write songs like Kevin Fisher, um, what would be their first step? Walk in my moccasins. Uh, no. <laughs> um, hit me up at my website, kevinfisher.me. Uh, send me an email. Uh, I teach uh, a few times a year. We'll do eight weeks at my local music store, Alva's Music in San Pedro. Um, we can do it online, over Skype. Uh, uh, that's all. It's all possible. But yeah, come go to my website and say hi to me. Awesome, and Kevin you can Fisher. also you can also put put it in the comments later. A, sure. a link. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that'd yeah. be great. So kevinfisher.me, yeah. not .com. Right, dot .me. Okay. .com was taken, I think, <laughs> by the character in. There was a Kevin Fisher. He was a dead guy in what was the TV show like <laughs> ten years ago? Six Feet Under. Oh. Yeah. You know, I I have johnm.com, and and I. For a while, I, I avoided even trying to get it because I saw that it was taken. Right. And finally, one day, I, uh, I looked it up, who has this, and I, and I found this guy. He was a doctor or a dentist or something, and he didn't even go by John M. Mm -hmm. his, 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 his last name was something different. He was John something. Right. But, and, I, and I sent this guy an email, and I said, I'm, I'm interested in buying your domain name. But I said, you know, lest you think that you're about to stumble into some great windfall, <laughs> you know, $50,000 uh, yeah. thing, uh, that, that ain't me. I said, I'm a, I'm a struggling musician. I don't have a lot of money. But I noticed that you're not even really using the name John M., and I am. And uh, so if, if you can make me a reasonable offer, I'll accept it. And he, he wrote me back, like, 150 bucks or something. So Sweet. done. Done. <laughs> yeah. so. So exactly. probably one of the best professional uh, decisions I've ever made, um, along with changing my name to John M. from John Mollenhauer. Yeah, John M. <laughs> it rolls off the tongue a little nicer. It does. So um, I won't repeat the story here. Maybe I'll tell you later. I've I've said it here a number of times how I came to that okay. to that decision. Right. But um, more music. Yes. Um, so yes, I, I promised you two more songs. So. Because you indulged me with uh, another love song. So uh, what All else right. you got for us? Uh, let's see. How about... Uh, let's see. Mm. Let's see. It would be nice to have rehearsed this, but there you go. Let's give it a shot.
When I sat down beside you underneath the sky Cause I had a feeling this was gonna go well Some people say there's no such thing as Falling in love at first sight But no heart has ever fallen this fast Four for four. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's Thank that's, you. Uh, that's great. Um, is there anything that um, that I should have asked you this morning, or that you would have liked me to ask you that I have not? Uh, will you endorse this check? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I could ask you that. Will you endorse this check? <laughs> Wait, does that go my way or the other way? What I meant was, hold on, hold on. Uh, Don't. Uh, <laughs> Not really. I'm grateful to be here and play. Well, th this has been a real treat well, for uh, for us. So uh, thanks thank for you. for coming and doing it. Um, I know you mentioned um, this is a, a bit of a stretch in the way of uh, promoting upcoming gigs, but I know you see Julie's, yes. which, which uh, and Russ and Julie have actually been guests on this. Show. Oh, sweet! I so, love So uh, Russ and Julie's house concerts. There. They are the sweetest couple, and they yeah. are as sweet now as. The pictures of them in high school when they right. dated. I mean, right. it's just ridiculously so cute. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I guess, you know, I guess that's it. I guess I can go ahead and, and wrap things up. Um, but thank you again for uh, for coming and doing this. My pleasure. Uh, Thanks for right. having me. Close enough. song that I wasn't actually planning on doing this morning. Uh, I was planning on doing a, you know, angst-ridden, tortured, uh, and I, up until about 10 seconds ago, I was still thinking about doing one of those, because I, I thought, well, Kevin's done enough up optimistic, happy songs, that it's okay. That used to happen to me a lot in Nashville. I, yeah. I you know, I... I I do a lot of energetic songs, mm -hmm. right? And uh, as you do, and so in Nashville, as you probably recall, there there are a lot of singers and songwriters who are into doing these kind of slow, self-indulgent ballads, and and some of them are great, right? But but they're slow, self-indulgent ballads, and so I would do these in the rounds, and and the, you know the other three people in the round, if if they knew me and were familiar with my stuff. They would go, oh, this is great. John's going to do a bunch of rock and up stuff, so that means I can do all my slow depression. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I say, well, you know, I might have one of those, too. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm, rather than shatter the mood, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and kind of continue it here with a song that I have not re rehearsed. Yes. Julie is here. Ju Julie from is Russ and Julie. Oh, hey, oh Julie. Julie. Hey, Julie. Boy, good thing I wasn't dissing them. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, Russ and who? Hey, yeah, what? Uh, so I'll give this one a shot. I hope I, I haven't rehearsed it, so we'll hope for the best. everybody for for joining us i haven't really paid much attention to uh to you the viewers this morning uh we've talked about that before sometimes when i when i do these solo shows i i have a little bit more uh time to interact and so forth but when i have a, a guest um like yourself i like to i like to give the guest as much time as possible and, and interact with you as much as possible so thanks to all of you uh, for coming and, and liking and watching and sharing, uh, it, it is so important. Um, is there any? Are there any other specific people? I should oh, so people? many people. You got a lot of viewers. J.C. Hike, Eric Vitelli. Um, wow. You know, the normal well, people that come: Jimmy Hunter, Angelina, Sean King, Gary Glasser. So many people. Well, thanks to all of you. Your your support means so much to us. Um, we will be back next Sunday with yet another special guest, Dan Navarro. I love that. We'll, we'll be here um, uh, next Sunday, and we're looking forward to that. And in the coming weeks after that, we have the Wild Mountain Mystics coming, and Alfred Johnson, and uh, it goes on from there. So we, 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 got, we got a lot of cool stuff lined up. Thank you, as always. Please remember to like and to share uh, if you're so inclined. And uh, let people know us know about us. Let people know us. Uh, so uh, that's going to do it for me. And Kevin, again, thank you for for coming My and, and being thank a part you. of this with us. Uh, I think Hillary and I, and hopefully Kevin, are going to go out to breakfast now. Um, Hillary, anything you want to say to anybody? Yes. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, and have a great week.